Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought I'd do work into in my art collage journal, um, and I'll do a little page, a couple of sort of like a double page um, with a tribute to the Queen. So I got a nice little page, double spread um, in my art journal. So I've got a couple of pictures of her. Um, I have a stamp i have a little quote which says it this is from her it has always been easy to hate and destroy to build and to cherish it's much more difficult and that's queen elizabeth ii on there and then we've got the little the date of birth and the day she passed away and we have a crown with a union jack or the union flag um, I have a lovely napkin here which I thought these flowers were really really pretty nice and delicate I have some teacups because it's very British isn't it to drink tea which I thought would go quite well and I have this lovely London napkin here so I've got these bits and pieces so I'm just going to do a very simple um, sort of background um, just a little collage just a quick one so what I'm going to do I've just gessoed the back of it I'm going to stick this one down um, or shall I stick this one down first what shall I do maybe that could go over the top so let me just tear this piece off because we don't need it that long let me just um, open this up if I can because we've got the three layers on there so we just need the top layer um, I'm going to pop that down on there like that. We've got some writing on the bottom, so we don't really want the writing, do we? So let's just pull that piece off, stick that down, and then let's just tear it down from there like that. And I just thought that would look quite nice, and then we could put these, these on the top like this. I quite like that, I thought it looks really nice on there, maybe something like that and then we put this on here, that can go on top just so, so you can see it going over like that, maybe a little one there, something like that what do we do with a stamp? Let's just do a very simple one so very simple, let's pop this down, so let's just glue this down to start with I did put a clip on there because for some reason it's I've decided to flip up oh, I think I might have a little bit too much glue let's move that out of the way and then I can pop it on this side as well so let's just stick this down nice blob of glue a little bit too much there I think I just thought this was a really really pretty little napkin which would work nicely on here I did think about doing it sort of like red white and blue but I think I just thought this one would work nice with it instead just stick that down tap that down let's have a little bit over here a bit more Was that the piece? No, that wasn't the piece, was it? It was this piece. There we go. A little bit more. I do like this matte medium because it's very um, liquidy. Obviously, it's a liquidy one. It's not a big, thick one. Let's just take the backing off here, which I didn't do, did I? Oops. No, I didn't. I left that. Let's take a little bit of glue and take that off. There we go. Stick that on there. I do like working with napkins because they are 
what you're with um, collage because they just stick down lovely. I know they're quite delicate so it's quite difficult so you don't sort of like rip them but if you're gentle um, they won't rip but sometimes I do get very heavy handed. Okay, Those colours go really well so it sort of like blends in quite well there doesn't it. Now, I may be thinking I would like maybe a bit of a background on here. Just make sure these are stuck down. I do have my watercolours out, so maybe I'll go over this. What shall we do? Let's pop that brush over there. So I've got my lovely watercolours here. I don't know what I did with my water. Hang on, two seconds. Okay, let's have, shall we have a little bit of blue? What do you think that would look like? Just a little bit. I don't want it too dark. I don't really have any, maybe do the Distress Oxide Spray, um, which is just thought maybe a little bit of watercolour might bring just a little bit of colour to the back, I think. A little bit on here. Pick the napkin. There we go. That looks okay. Let's just quickly dry that. Okay, so the pictures here, I've just printed them off um, Pinterest on these ones like that. So I thought they would look quite nice, wouldn't they? So let's just glue these down. So I'm hoping that, because I've only got an inkjet printer, so I'm hoping they're not going to smudge. So let's see, let's just stick this down. And the next one, I think I would just pop next to this one, like that. There we go. That looks okay. You can see it's just smudging a little bit. That's why I thought it might because it's just the ink jet. So I think that will be okay. Shall we put this up here? Where should we put this? Shall I just put this on here like that? Shall we have a teacup on there? Maybe I'll pop a couple of little teacups on there over the top. Which I think will be quite fun, won't it? Nice no, cup of tea. Look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? Lovely little teacups. And I think they blend in well on there. Now is this going to smudge? Let's see. Pop you down. Put it a little bit higher. Just a stick down. There we go. I don't think I will go over the top just in case I make it all smudgy. So that looks okay, I think. 
Now, what did I do with that quote? Here we go. So we've got this lovely crown. We have a quote and then we have the... What should we do? Should we pop that down there? That's what we shall do, I think. that on. Okay, I'm not going to go over this one either because I think I won't smudge it all. So let's just stick that down. Let's put that here very gently. Maybe we'll have the little little stamp and maybe I'll pop up there because we've got a stamp there haven't we like that so let's just that should stay on because that's not a printed one that's a real stamp so let's see if that will be okay so there we go just a very simple one but I think that looks really good I think I might just do a little bit around the outside of these. Let me just quickly dry it. There we go. I love it. So that looks really good. Now I could do with my other little brush here. Is this the one? Yes, we'll do, won't it? Let's take that off. Let's just do a little bit of bit more blue around here for the sky. Well, it's like a sky, isn't it? A little bit down this side. Across here, don't want to do too much. I'm going to go around with my Stabilo pencil as well, I think, just to bring that out a little bit. So let's just see wherever I have put it. Here we go, let's start with this side. Oops, very watery. It's very quiet, sorry. I'm concentrating. Let's go around these just to give it a little bit of a an edge to it. There we go. Might need to add a little bit more colour to this. We shall see. So it's one of those things you look at and then we can add to it afterwards, can't we? And always come back to these. Like that. And I'm quite liking it. Let's 
just a nice little tribute just for to remember on here. I do like that. Now I might add a little bit of gold. I've got some lovely gold which I have, which is the watercolour gold. And um, I think it just needs a little bit of gold in here, seeing it's the queen. We could add a little bit of gold, couldn't we? Just a few highlight of these flowers on here. I think it looks quite nice. Perfect. Shall we add a little bit just to these ones over here? Lovely. That's the nice thing about when you have sort of like napkins or your paper. You've got already got sort of things like the flowers and that, so you can just sort of like follow the um, outline of them. So it almost looks like you've been painting it yourself. So pop a little bit of gold just around here, I think. I'm hoping you can see the gold. I think it was quite pretty. I will do a little close up as I normally do at the end um, of the video. Okay, I won't do too much. But I think that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Should we do anything else? Where's our little white Posca pen? We do like the white Posca pen, don't we? It's just a few little highlights at the top of these as well. Like that. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it like that because I didn't want to do too much, so that's about right. I'm just going to leave it like that because I think that looks really good. So that's a nice one. Okay guys, well thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, please stay safe, take care, look after yourselves and I will see you all soon. Alright guys, bye bye. Mm -hmm.